Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania is not a good movie. And here's why. This is Hero Talk Episode 1. On this channel, I'm going to be talking about anything and everything superheroes. And if that sounds appealing to you, then maybe hit that subscribe button down below. Without further ado, let's get into the video. First, I'm going to start with the positives of this movie. And the first one that comes to my mind and pretty much everyone else's mind is Jonathan Majors as Kane the Conqueror. Any scene that this guy is in, he just steals the show. He's very menacing, intimidating, very serious, and it really works well as setting him up as the next big bad of the MCU like Thanos was a few years ago. Marvel did a great job at casting this guy. Another positive would have to be Paul Rudd as Ant-Man. He is just the perfect guy for this role. You look at him and you just think Ant-Man, and he really just brings this what used to be B, C tier superhero up to this A tier level where, you know, Ant-Man is kind of like a household name and people love this character. Um, and that is mainly because of Paul Rudd and what he's been able to do with these movies. Now I'm going to get into kind of like the meh tier, not good, not bad. And that would be the whole quantum realm thing. For some people, this would be really cool. You know, visually, it's amazing and very epic in scale. But for me, it didn't really do anything for me. If anything, it really took me out of the movie because in the back of my head, I knew it was all CGI. None of it was real. Everything was really filmed on a green screen. And that just wasn't really appealing to me and maybe and maybe I'm just more of a grounded superhero movie type of guy maybe for some people that would be appealing to them but for me it didn't really do anything for me another meh thing would be Cassie Lang they got a great actor to play that role and there weren't any really great scenes I mean she wasn't great and she wasn't really bad it was just kind of she was just kind of there and another character like that would be the Wasp. You know, this movie is titled Ant-Man and the Wasp, Quantumania, but she had barely any screen time, and, you know, at times you really even forgot she was in the movie and forgot that, you know, her name is in the title of the movie, and I feel like that's not good, really. Now I'm going to get into the negatives, and to be honest with this movie... There's a good amount of them. First negative of this movie would have to be the plot. You know, there really isn't a plot to this movie. It doesn't really do anything for you. You don't really feel much. When this movie starts to get good and the stakes really start to get higher and you feel like something really important is about to happen or Kang is about to do something really crazy, it gets shot down by a dumb joke by Modoc or a just out of place something that just ruins the entire mood of the movie and just really takes you out as a viewer and that's just and that's not good. Marvel, these past few movies, there's been a lot of that. And that's something they really need to address. And, like, all these superhero movies are making the same mistakes over and over and over again. And I feel like a lot of people are starting to get really frustrated with this. And, and it might hurt Marvel as a result. Um, so they need to figure that out. Another negative would be MODOK. Um, I get he's supposed to look silly. And I get all that stuff. But... He just was really dumb in this movie. I really didn't like the character at all, and they killed him off just like that. He was He's gone now. He's dead. And just the jokes he would make in the wrong spots, and it just, I, it didn't, it didn't do anything for me. I, I, I didn't, I didn't like his character really at all. This movie for me, if I could sum it up in one word, it would just be meh. Sure, it sets up the next phase of the MCU, with King, he does a great job, but other than that, it's really not a great movie, and it might be the worst movie in the Ant-Man trilogy, honestly, which is really disappointing because I was pretty excited going into this movie, and I'm sure you've seen the Rotten Tomatoes score at this point, the second ever MCU movie to be rotten, and honestly, I mean, I don't disagree with it. I went into the movie hoping that I would disagree with it, but a 53 on Rotten Tomatoes kind of seems deserved. It's really not that great of a movie. It hurts me to say that, but it just, it's really not that good. 
Do I recommend seeing this movie? Probably just because it sets up the next three to five years of the MCU with Kang as the new Thanos figure. But other than that, really not that great of a movie. I would lower your expectations, honestly, if they're high. And hopefully Marvel will turn things around in the future, but um, things aren't looking too good right now. But if I had to give this movie a number rating on a scale of 1 to 10, it would land in the... 5 to 6 range, probably a 6 out of 10. With that being said, I hope you enjoyed my review of Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, and I'll see you in the next one.